Hello, YouTubers. This is Latricia Spagner coming with information on my new Little Rascals litter. They're not so new anymore. They are four weeks old. They turned four weeks old on Wednesday, so four and a half now. I do my videos usually on the weekend, so about four and a half. As you can see, they are much, 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 much bigger. I thought I'd do a group video this time. My next upload will be of individual litters, but of individual animals. But as you can see, I have rearranged their den. In the beginning, their birthing den was just right here. Everything was going on right there. Mommy gave birth right there. She nursed right there. She cleaned them up right there. Everybody hung out in there. And then as they got older, they learned how to crawl out of there and they kept following mom out. So then I needed a new enclosure. Otherwise there would be poop and pee all over the floor. So then, I bet, let me back up to give you a wider angle view. I put up my brown gates to make an enclosure for them. I love these gates. No, it's not a commercial. It's just me <laughs> saying how much I like things. It has a doggy door so they can go in and out. It's really so that mom can go in and out. I really prefer the puppies to be in one place because once they come out here, then there's poop and pee everywhere, which tells me that it is time for them to start their potty training anyway. So notice the puppy pads on the ground. All over the place, there are puppy pads. There's puppy pads back there. That's Alfalfa back there, wagging his little tail. Over here, we have Buckwheat hiding. He's like, what's going on? Who are you? What do you want? Anywhere that is not their sleeping or play area, there are puppy pads. Because they're new at this. They're still learning where to poop and pee. So, I want to give them plenty of options. They have started going already, guys. It's clean in here now because I just cleaned it up. I didn't want dirty pads in my video. So I cleaned it up, but after a day or so, I'll do another video where you can see that they have been peeing on there. Juliet still eats their poop, gross, I know. But <laughs> it's true, it's what she does. So they tend to cluster. I'm surprised that these two are isolating because normally, they are all in a big dog pile. I guess that's where that term comes from, dog pile. So this one right here, that's Spanky, light one, biggest. Wow, he's so much bigger than the others. Wagging his little tail around. That's Faith back there with the purple collar leaving. I guess she doesn't like my company. Bye, Faith. <laughs> okay, and this is Stymie over here, crawling around. Mom just went outside, so they are a little discombobulated. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Well, she has a doggy door of her own, and I closed it because I don't want her all over my video. But she's outside, hanging out in the shade. Alina is out there, too. It's 102 in the high desert show, so I'm surprised. Normally, they're inside. When the doggy door was open, they were definitely inside. And as soon as I finish the video, I'm going to let them back in because it's hot out there. But this is the little rascal's litter. As you can see, as they get bigger, they're venturing out. They don't just stay in one huddle together. They still mainly, oh, there goes somebody going pee. Yay, my potty plan is working. See, they're getting there. That's Faith. Now you're in the way, Faith. Move so we can see that you're in pee -pees. See, a little white spot, little wet spot right there. Faith did that. Just now, she went pee -pees. Usually once one of them goes, then they will, others will start going. Not all of them, maybe two or three will go. We'll see. When they are not going potty, they tend to stay awake a little bit longer, not much. They're still mainly sleeping, pooping, peeing, and nursing. That's kind of it for now. They're just babies. They're only four and a half weeks So, See, there's Faith's little spot where she went pee, -pee just now. So they're learning. I'm surprised that they are learning this quickly. Faith was over here in my dog pile, remember? She left the bed to go potty over there. 
That's a good sign. It means that they're catching on. Once one of them goes, then the others tend to go. They might be thinking about it. We'll see. You might have a little pee puddle going on over there. If not, there's plenty of time. I try to start their potty training early. One, because their new parents will appreciate it. And two, it makes my life easier too. Because all the pee and poop is in one place and it makes it easier to clean up. What's the matter? Spanky is sad. He is crying, crying, crying. Well, you don't have to stay there. You can join the family. Thank you. Right over there. No problem. Okay, so they are growing. They are getting bigger. They are getting stronger. They are a lot more active. At first glance, this looks like a really big enclosure. Why does she have such a big enclosure? She's only got five dogs and one little loss of mommy. But they are growing all around, and I want them moving about. I don't want them to just sit in one spot. As they move, as they grow, they work those muscles. That's how they get healthy and strong. And they explore. They're just all over the place. And now they're crying for their mother. So we're going to keep it short so I can let mom back in because it's hot outside. And I hear her at the doggy door trying to figure out, why am I on time out? Open this door. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you want to continue to keep informed of my litter, then please do so. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also remember to like and share. Take care, y'all. Bye.